because now it's time to drill this beautifully um, thought out, built, prepared, insulated, plastered ceiling with a load of holes. Trying to find the spotlights that were put in, obviously by the electrician a number of weeks ago. Now the difference between this job and others is because the customer here has decided to use not only um, spotlights or down lights, whatever you want to call them, in the loft, which makes perfect sense because you need to see it, you haven't got the room to put anything other than that. But I also want them on the ground floor, and we've never had that before. Usually in bedrooms you have like one pendant maybe, or two in a room if it's big enough, but they've gone for spots throughout. Which means that for all these ceilings that are now plastered and all lovely and blah blah blah, there are 48 of them to find, I think. At least 48, there might even be a couple more that I've, uh, I forgot to, I don't say forget, that's still gonna have trouble. Now usually what we do is paint the ceilings first, paint the roofs first, then find them, but then that's just a silly way of doing it. Cause on the previous job, what happened was, we'd uh, inadvertently, we didn't even know, we'd caught a cable between the, uh, the joist, the ceiling joist and the plasterboard. So we had to cut a hole out and then you're, then you're patching uh, having to patch a, uh, a painted ceiling, which is a nightmare. If we have any issues now, we can fill and patch this in, then paint it, it's much better. So we were doing it sort of backwards before. So we're gonna put you on time lapse and we're going to find, um, we've marked them all out, as you can see. We've used a laser level to set them all out. Um, there's 16 in this room, plus the fan. So 17 holes to drill. Um, we might not drill the fan purely because it can only be in one place. We can't get that wrong, it's impossible. Fine, Mr. Last Word. He said, what we've got, we know what the measurement is. We know what the measurement is off the ceiling. We know it's um, as close to the, the wall as possible as we can possibly get. And plus, as a fail safe, we can put a hand up there and feel the vent on the soffit. So it's easy there. There's, there's no two ways about that. So, a, so until we know what size fan we're getting, we won't drill that just in case we do it wrong, but the lights are okay with. So, I was going to show you what we're going to use to do it because Rich has already cleaned this room out. We're going to use one of these. What happens is your whole saw goes in there, attaches to the drill um, through, uh, through it like that, and then as you put that to the ceiling, you drill the hole and all the dust gets caught in that. And then you can just tip that into a bit and away you go. So if you work in somebody's house, you know, it was, it's all done and whatnot, that's, uh, that's a great thing to use. So we're going to set that up and then we're going to start drilling and we're going to find them all because we've measured them all and it's all going to be right, isn't it Richard? Yes, Adam. Yes, yes it will be. Right. Okay. You know what we say, got to trust the plan. Trust the plan. Trust the plan. Right, in the previous episode, I, I noted uh, what I told you that I, um, I found this, I hadn't thought I'd lost it, and it's important that I don't lose it. Because in here is where I write down all the measurements for where the lights are. So this is the, where are we here? That's my ass. So this is ramblings of a complete madman. It goes on to, all the downstairs ones, first floor, front bedroom, back bedroom, landing. So it's all there, so I needed this. So I've transferred those measurements onto the ceiling via the laser level, and now we're going to go for it. So, 
this is it. Trust the plan. That's so, the plan. Trust it. So we're doing one. We're doing one, and then we'll turn up the rest. Trust the plan. It's all there, isn't it? It's there. It's there. Perfect. So as you can so see, no dust. Look at that. See, all the dust goes in there. So I'll go and get a bin there, which I want to go and water, a little bucket. Tip that in, and then we'll continue all the way through, and we're going to find them all, and there's going to be no swearing. <laughs> <laughs> Never work with children, yeah. animals, and tigers. That right? Beautiful. Okay, so the good news and the bad news. Good news is that we've drilled all the holes, and they're, they're all pretty good. And um, there's wires behind all of them. The only one, in fact, 15 of them are absolutely perfect, like that one. The only one that isn't perfect, you can see that there, but that's our insulation, so we can always cut that out. Basically, if you cut a hole and you can find the cable, you've got a chance, you're all right. So that's, that's not an issue, I'm happy with that. Um, it's when you cut a hole and there's nothing there at all, you think, <laughs> oh God, and it's happened. Or you've drilled the hole and it's straight on a joist or a rafter or whatever, you think, oh no, you're in a world of hurt there. But we're all right. So that's the good news is that this room is clear and we can paint now. And we'll, we'll go downstairs now and start. Yeah, but the bad news is this is always going to be the easy one. We knew when we made, when we insulated it and made these pockets for the insulation, which you haven't seen it, go back and have a look at it. We'll put the um, link in the description <coughs> for that video um, in this one. Um, so it's always going to be one big 100mm hole, find a, finding a big cavity like that. It's the other downstairs, it's a bit more awkward. But we shall see, so we'll move on. Right, clean sweep upstairs, moving on downstairs. First bedroom. Holds slightly smaller on these. I've got this, this bit here, 74 millises. I forget now, it's a little spring there. And that does, when, I'll show you in a sec, but once you've done your, um, cut the plasterboard out, it keeps it's, uh, keeps the plasterboard from going down into the actual hole, so it's an absolute nightmare to get out. So that just pops them out, it's ice. So, right, six to five in here, they're all marked out. Let's get on with it. Six holes, six wires, perfect. But this is the easy one, again, because it's a square room and all the measurements are off square walls. Where we're gonna start coming the cropper is with this one, where the measurement of this wall is different to that one, because obviously we've got to take into account the chimney. The same issue here with the door. And then down here, we've got Amongst the ones above our head, we've got the ones down here that can't be in the middle because they're, that's where the joist was, straight down, sod's law. So we've had to come just off it to our left. But we've got to drill them as close to the middle as possible without hitting the joist. So that's, if we're going to go wrong, we're going to go wrong here. We're not going to go wrong, are we? No. No. So these are marked out. Uh, can you see? Yeah, there they are. So trust the plant. Let's go for it. Right, it's five in here, four holes, four cables so far. 
Hopefully there's gonna be one behind here and then I'll show you the benefit of having that spring in there, what it does. First and foremost, there's the cable, excellent. And you see that the spring kicks it to the top of the hole saw and then hopefully it just pops out. There you go, well worth it. Right. What's that? Another room done. That's five. So that is 16, 22, 27 so far. 27 holes, 27 wires. Right then, moving on to the landing. Okay, moving on to the front bedroom. Six to find in here. All marked out. Let's go. Right, six holes, five cables. I'm having to fumble around in there and I can't find anything. So here we go, is this it? Is this the elusive one? We shall see. Give me a sec and I'll uh, have a proper look. Right, I'm having a fumble. And now we can see it, you see it just there? It is there, look, you see it? Just poked that insulation there. It's just been pushed up. As the plaster board's gone up, so I'll get a bit of cable, um, a bit of wire or something, and I'll fish that out. Hopefully, it's free, hasn't been trapped on it under anything, and then it'll be six out of six. Or will it? <gasps> Stay tuned. Oh yeah, he's got it. I just needed to find a hook. And where'd you find a hook from? Look at that. Hey, made for the job. And it's all nice and free. Excellent. Right then, six out of six. Now we're gonna move on to here. And there's five in here, plus the fan. Okay, all these are marked out now. A couple of things that's really come to my rescue, and I'll just pass it on to you, is that when you're making your plans for your lights, Jot down some notes as well, not just the plan, because there's so many things you quite easily forget. Because the time, it, the time between putting the cables in and measuring them to now could be, you know, it could quite easily be a month or so, and you will forget things. So what I've done, obviously I've got my measurements, but I've, I've jotted down that these measurements are from the plastered steel, or plasterboard as, as it was, not the wall. So I could have quite easily forgotten that a 500 mil or my 600 mil is from this face, not that face, and I would have been a mile away if I hadn't jotted that down or if I'd forgotten. Here as well, we want one light in the shower cubicle. And what I've put down is that uh, it's 600 million from the wall and it's 480 from an unboarded wall. So that, when that was the bare wall, it was 480 million. Now, once it's been plasterboarded, adhesive, tiled, that's going to creep in, but it's how much it's going to creep in. So, Try and find a date and point so it's not going to move. So when these went in, I'll put the light in the middle of that. So I've made a note of that as well. And then that measurement now is 430, which all right, you would have you would have found it, but it's better just to have something just so you can double double check where you are. And also I've noted that it was an undabbed wall. So all these measurements were taken from a wall that was well, you know, undabbed. So you can adjust these measurements if need be, maybe take 20 mil off or something, whatever you wanted to do. So, as many notes as you can, and hopefully they'll all be there. King of the road, trailer for sailor in. Bit of a hairy moment on that one, but I found it, I fished it out with my trusty purpose made hook. Now, this one. Where is this one? Going to avoid into the unknown. Oh, I might have to give this one a bit more. What's up there? Oh, there it is. I can see it. Right. Let's see if I can do this. One handed and live, so to speak. Let's get my fat finger out of the way. Where is it? There it is. 
It's a long way back, isn't it? Oh, I'm gutted. I pressed, uh, I pressed stop on accident. You're not going to think I did that on one name, but I did. It's there, it's there. Okay, excellent. So what's that? That's another five. One, two, three, four, five. That cable is there. You say, there it is. Another five done. Now then, the main event, the nemesis. This is it. It's these five. Not five, I can't tell how many there is. I'll let you know. Just checked and there's six. There's one, just outside of each door. And then there's four down here. So six in total, and this is where it's gonna get a bit dodgy because we know that right in the middle, right where we'd wanna put the spotlight, there's um, a joist straight away down. So we don't wanna play safe and go and miss it completely because then the lights will be too far over either way, whichever way you wanna look at it. So we've gotta get as close as we possibly can to the joist without hitting it. So this is always gonna be the dodgy bit. So we shall see. But we have got a brand new implement, haven't we? There is, look, there's a camera. Uh, <laughs> just, the tool. Just, <laughs> just come back from uh, filming gorillas, haven't you? In the, uh, uh, yeah. wherever they are. Well, I'll bring me that one, bro. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> Whatever, right. Okie dokie, right, new tool time. So as I've said, we know that there is annoyingly a joist right in the center of this landing uh, ceiling here. So we can't put our lights right there. So I've transferred all my measurements out of my book onto the ceiling and you can clearly see that is off center. So to double check, because we want to get as close to that joist as possible without hitting it, Richard's got this out of his van. This is a stud finder. Now, let's be honest, it looks a bit uh, Fisher-Price, but it's highly recommended. Is it the Perkins Brothers, Rich? The Perkins Brothers, the channel, yeah. Yeah, you know, they've got X amount of millions of subscribers and whatnot, and you know, they ain't short of a bubble or two, so they wouldn't use shit just for the sake of it. So what I've done, as I say, we know that that's, there's a, a joist in the middle, but if we put that on, look, and press the button, that's what it's saying it is. All right, now if we, I've already marked that on. You see, look there. You see, it moves across. That's what it's saying it is. It marks it on, on the ceiling, that's a better angle, there. And then if we, if we look back, you see that is in the middle. So I'm saying that's right, which is ace. Now our line, admittedly, looks way left, but that's because we've got to take into account the size of the hole saw. So, so by the time that the middle is on that line, the outer bit there, which is, I forget now, I think it's 72 mil overall. So I'll make that, let's say it's 32. 32 mil from there gets us dangerously close to that. So that's as far as I'm willing to go with that. So we'll drill them out and we'll see what we find. And I'm getting mighty tired of your traveling ways and of listening to that jackass Bray. Six holes, six cables, and just to show you, that's how close we were, look, to the joist, it was right there. So I'm glad that we checked and double checked that. And just to show you, that's what it says the joist is in relation to the hole there. And as you look round, you can't see because it's like, there it is, look. So that's fairly spot on, that is, that's all right. If you can be fairly spot on, if that's possible. That's the only little blowout we've had. Just there, look, a bit of filler in that. But that's, uh, that's the dodgy six, that's the, the six I wasn't looking forward to. So that is nearly it. There is one left for a clean sweep. Double or nothing. There's one there. And if you are a watcher of our videos, you will know that I plasterboarded that and forgot to measure it. So I'm gonna go back through my videos, work out where it is, and we'll go from there. 
gone from my videos and apparently managed to work out that it's there. Let's have a look. Oh, I thought I messed it up. I thought I messed it up, look. You see it there, that's a joist, but if you remember, if you watch your videos, I cut a bit of that joist out to accommodate that. So this one could be in the middle because this timber only spans from the steel, which is ends about there, to this wall here, which goes all the way down onto a steel. So I could have thought just to nip a bit of that out in order for it to get in. So I thought I messed it up, but I hadn't. It's all there, it's all there. Right, excellent. What have we learned from this exercise? Well, we've learned that I don't trust anybody else to make the plans for me. That's just a given. Besides, if, if someone's going to make a mistake, I want it to be me. If I leave it to somebody else and they do it, it's all a bit, oh, why don't you do this, why don't you do that? But if I measure them, I drill them, I make the mistakes, which also means I can take the glory. And there was 45 in the end, because a couple of rooms only had five. And we've got 45 out of 45, no trap cable. So, excellent. That's probably just a busman's holiday for you electricians, but for us, well, for me personally, that's good. The only reason why I wanted this so bad was because I needed two jobs ago before our YouTube days, I needed to get 40 out, and uh, the very last one I messed up, so I got 39. So it's one all. Uh, also, learned that these things, the little spring, are absolutely ace, so just pop right out at the end. Brilliant. And what else have we learned? Yeah, comprehensive plans are okay. key. Right then, for more interesting videos, go back and watch our other ones or subscribe and watch the ones that are upcoming. We've got plenty on. And uh, thanks for watching.